that's I'm taking you to Manchester Airport today and this is Terminal 2 which is recently upgraded and recently built so this is the, I would say most modern terminal in UK in England I will not compare that one with uh, with anything in Dubai or Abu Dhabi or Doha or other parts but in Europe you will see the cities are grown up there is shortage of land so airports are usually 50 or 60 or 80 years old so you will not expect very wide and very comfortable airports but they are trying they are trying their best so I will show you around today so you, you, you will like it I, I'm sure you will like it this airport have some some beautiful features some excellent halls and uh, beautiful lounges and of course there are some shopping centers inside as well duty free shop and all the other all the other brands most of the brands coffee shops bars and pubs where you, where you can enjoy a cup of coffee or breakfast and uh, definitely all the other services immigration and security uh, i will i will take you through all so this first part this is official video this is video official given or maybe a computer graphics by the manchester airport authority so first we go through this one um, this is arrival hall where uh, all the, all the travel agents and all the airlines set their counters uh, you go through them and uh, get your get your boarding pass get your documents checked yeah of course in these days covid documents are the first and then you climb up to escalators and you are right in the after school of course after, after the security areas I cannot show you the security areas because you are not allowed so this is all duty free shops areas and bars i will go through later on and i will make video myself in the, these parts but just want to show you before by the official video as well so hope you will like that one as well so let's see and this is in the middle this is honeycomb hall where you can find your gates and the way you which whichever way you want to go and then all the lounges are are sur surrounding to this these halls especially bars are upstairs and all the gates and welcome to manchester airport so this actually this is actually their advertisement so wait for my and enjoy and watch it all you take care have a nice day Today I am going to show you brand new Manchester Airport Terminal 2 which is just recently completed and it's really beautiful because with, you will not compare airports in Europe with Dubai or other airports because they are definitely better but in Europe mostly airports are old and buildings are really small but this one definitely very wide, very open you can feel space in it and so many shops uh, let's have a look Let's walk through this terminal all the way and find our own flight. It's not a long flight. This is only to show you the airport around and make few videos for my family. So next week going to be very excited. You will have quite a few videos in next week. Anybody want whiskey or gin or, or wood?
can't film the shop. Okay. Well, the lady told me you cannot film it. There are 1,000, more than many thousand clips all over the internet, on YouTube, and everywhere. And I've been told, no, you can't film it. You can't film the shop. Oh my God. The big boss never ends. Quite small actually. Basically, I will not compare it with Dubai or Abu Dhabi or, or Qatar, Doha. Uh, not even with uh, Charles de Gaulle Airport, Paris or Frankfurt. But with compared to Manchester Old Terminal 1 and Terminal 3, this is quite big. So that's what I'm comparing off. Can this hall then build? There are a few more shops upstairs, or maybe more, more bars and restaurants are upstairs. And I can see the Englishmen enjoying their beer already early in the morning. They will never miss one. French never miss the wine, and English and German, they never miss their beer. Now this is another bar. Quite a few here. Let's see where the double L is. It shouldn't be far. Oh, that's nice. That's Carlo Restaurant to Italian. I don't know, we, there is famous saying here in England that uh, you put O at the end of every word and that make it Italiano. So if any Italian speaker here in my fans, if they can, uh, if they can explain is that true or that's false? I know it's false, but it's just a joke. I remember one day Hamza came back from Manchester and he was telling his brother, Oh, there were so many of them. He said, Who? He said, The brown peoples. Have a look. What is these 1903 escape lounges? I don't know. Is that escape like a game or escape from a prison or, or just a. Just a peaceful corner. I think it's probably business club lounge, so better go back. Charge a fortune for that time. No, it's just one of them. Oh, no, I guess there are quite a few shopping shop shopping centers on this side as well. A few more shops. 
This one is closed. Surprise. Usually alcohol is a good offer because it's uh, beauty free. Remember alcohol and cigarettes are the most expensive in UK due to high tax. The pack of cigarette is, in these days is around 10 pounds. The same thing with alcohol. While in Europe it is around 3 pounds. And I don't know where the poor man's kitchen is. I didn't make it over. But it is definitely much better than Terminal 1 and Terminal 3. They, they are old. You, you can justify that. They are really old terminals. And especially Heathrow. It's a very old airport. Very congested. Right in the middle of cities. So you, you can imagine that they, will, they won't be that wide and that nice. Especially when you land flying from Dubai or somewhere. And you, you think you are in a village. You are not in, the, you are not in Europe. That's expensive. You can buy four pounds outside. Never buy anything other than alcohol or cigarettes if you want. Or perfume for your loved one or for your friends. Unless you are mega rich. Like Hamza. So that's Manchester and I love Manchester. There's gin, whiskey and gin again. The misfire is quite good. The famous grouse is reasonable. Hendrick, I don't know. 41.4%, that's definitely strong. But remember Chinese drink even beer up to 60% alcohol. I, I seen Chinese wine for 60% as well. And of course, you cannot, you cannot ignore if PIA, PIA is landing there and the PIA's brand new jet coming down looks, looks so beautiful in the background as well. And here we go. PIA was recently banned from, you know, so not, not all, but some, some PIA planes were, were banned for, by European and due to safety reasons. But all done and dusted and all sorted, so PIA back to track into European flight, especially Manchester. Manchester is one of the biggest hub for PIA, for Emirates as well, but all other airlines and PIA because there is very strong Hudson community in Manchester and areas surrounding on north west of England is Manchester, Liverpool, Bradford, Leeds, they all Bolton, these parts of so, a lot of Pakistanis live in this part. Pakistani, Indians, Bengalis, and uh, PIA has offered them a direct flight from Manchester to Lahore, El Salvador, and Karachi. So definitely, definitely they are all perfect. So it was, it was, it was a pleasant surprise to see, to see PIA there.